It's true that modern women are no longer dating material. Because you see, women are victims. Patriarchy is a flawed concept. Being a man is toxic. Women who are sick or handicapped are victims of patriarchy. For the same job, women get paid less than males. Blanket narratives paint all men with the same brush. That's what feminism sells women, and they believe it with all their hearts. Ideas that make it sound like all women are victims. Did you know that despite prostate and breast cancer having identical mortality rates for men and women, six times more money is spent researching breast cancer? Men make up about 85% of the homeless population in the U.S. For the same offense, men are given much lengthier prison terms than women. Men are more frequently left financially wrecked and without much, if any, contact with their own children following divorce. Family law benefits the mother at the expense of the father. Men, by a significant margin, choose to work in physically dangerous and often life-threatening occupations such as firefighters, law enforcement officers, minors, fighter pilots, and soldiers in the military. 94% of accidents at work involve men. Men often wind up working longer hours and commuting farther than women do. It's because men frequently try to purchase their way into the affection and favor of women by taking on riskier and consequently painful roles. Women are the CEOs of 24 Fortune 500 firms. In order to equalize outcomes without balancing effort or merit, the state of California established a rule in 2018 requiring publicly traded corporations to add more women to their boards of directors. To get more women into coal mines, offshore drilling, or on garbage trucks. However, there is no such rule or policy, or even a consideration for gender equality to also be present at the coal mines. Funny, isn't it? Men are twice as likely as women to make child support payments to the other parent when one of them is compelled to do so. However, there isn't a comparable phrase used by the general public for women, unlike the derogatory term deadbeat dad. Men are three times more likely to be murdered, and they are more than twice as likely to be victims of violent crimes than women. Girls are educated more effectively in schools because boys are taught in a female-centric environment from the very first grades. The majority of associate, bachelor, master, and doctoral degrees are now earned by women, and this percentage is rising almost annually. Men are consistently represented as being unable to do anything right in sitcoms and advertisements, while women are praised and celebrated. You are viewed as a predator if you take your children any place in public. Dads who stay at home are lazy losers, whereas moms who stay at home are strong women. Women can abuse us all they like, but if we respond violently, we become monsters. It's the man's fault if a lady gets upset with him. If you and a girl get intoxicated and have an intimate relationship, only one of you can be charged with assault. Women are not held accountable for leaving a man. Men who dump women do so out of fear of commitment. While believing a girl to be overweight is unacceptable, believing a guy to be overly short is acceptable. Feminists are attempting to devalue men and elevate women. They seek to establish a matriarchal society instead of just abolishing the so-called patriarchy. Feminists are in a power struggle. Manliness is deemed poisonous. They spread falsehoods about the wage gap, patriarchy, and male privilege. Equality or no equality. They have no interest in equality. They merely wish to sow discord between the genders. They suppress and cancel activities they don't like, like International Men's Day, while simultaneously fighting hypocritically for free expression. They would battle for rights like going topless in public. They want to go for a casual stroll half-nude and topless, and then complain about harassment or even the fact that men were looking at them. They are not advocating for reproductive rights, equal pay, or any of those things. They don't want more privileges. They already have them. What rights do men have that women don't? Where did all the laws that protect women and hold men accountable originate from if we are a patriarchal society? If the wage gap is true and women can perform equally well with less pay, 
wouldn't it make sense for a corporation to hire only women? The goal of the feminist movement has never been and will never be equality. It has to do with power. Feminists are at odds with men and are working to weaken them. Being a protected class and having equality are totally at odds. You can pick either one or the other. Dating feminists comes with its own price. Many feminists are easily angered about trivial matters, just like how they respond when men make jokes. An essential component of the feminist psyche is outrage. Currently, women are more likely to allow their emotions to cloud their ability to reason. Women tend to value feelings more than men do. Therefore, when a woman adopts a feminist stance and behaves in a more neurotic, impulsive, and impolite manner against the entirety of the male gender, men do not immediately understand and consider the woman's feelings to be nonsensical. Perhaps it's this or it just becomes the habit to show outrage over the tiniest of conversations that crack jokes regarding gender. By emphasizing the small-minded obstacles that women still ostensibly have rather than showing all of the amazing things that a woman can do, this victimhood attitude actively disempowers women. When it comes to dating, feminist women often assume victim mentalities in an effort to vent their resentment and frustration at the falsehoods they continue to spread such as the idea that women are paid less for the same work and to gain an advantage over their partners. Modern feminists feel pigeonholed by the structures that many couples flourish in and yearn for freedom from a traditional way of life. The feminist would much rather forgo marriage and having children with her husband in favor of dominance and a fast-paced profession. She wants to be an alpha and wants her partner to be her beta, Therefore, she doesn't grasp how both men and women in partnerships may be leaders in their own unique ways. Nonetheless, there is nothing wrong if you are drawn to a particular line of work. Being passionate about a cause or an art form or want to use your unique talents is admirable. Yet, if a woman puts her career before forming personal connections, this could backfire in the dating world as a whole. Men would want to avoid dating contemporary feminist women since it is a whole other game. The reality is that men are leaving the dating game because it's just not worth it anymore. Women are slowly realizing this, but it's already too late. Men are now consuming and telling their stories about how they went MGTOW and what it means to them. These men are on all social media platforms making videos, sharing comments, and sharing content from other people talking about the same thing. These men are also on forums and discussion boards. Men have now become comfortable talking about MGTOW, and now I believe it's something that society is accepting of and women are understanding. Men are saying that we're just not going to get into relationships or marriage anymore because we're tired of being taken for granted. We're no longer playing the dating game because we feel it's rigged against us. Feminism has gone from a female liberation movement to a movement that just wants to bring down men, and men are not okay with that. So, they're just walking off the field and going their own way. Men are no longer shying away from telling the world that they've had enough, seen enough, and experienced enough to know that they just don't want to pursue women anymore. They're a whole lot better off without them. They're going their own way. They're going to live their life their own way, build their skills, pursue their long-standing habits, and live a normal life, just without being committed to women. And it's not like they hate women or anything. They just don't want to be in a relationship with them because they're just not okay with all the drama that comes after marriage or how the system works against them if they get divorced. And now, women are looking at men coming out and saying they're going their own way. The number of men doing this is steadily on the rise. I think this is why more women are starting to think that maybe these men might be right. They're not bad men. They're good guys who just don't want bad experiences anymore. These are guys who are on a scale from 1 to 10 are 2s and 3s, or even 8s and 9s. Perhaps there's still time for women, or perhaps not. But from what we saw in women around the world, and especially in Western societies, it doesn't look good for them. You have the solo moms who never realized how important it was for them to have partners. Then you have these older career women who chased the feminism dream 
and climbed their corporate ladders, only to realize they were past their biological clocks, and now men don't want to date them anymore. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us some love and support by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel.